we're still getting lots of questions about our new vacuum, which is a Bobby Pet made by Bob Sweep. And so I wanted to take a minute to answer a question that I'm getting a lot, but from one person in particular who has uh, a pretty challenging job for a vacuum cleaner to keep up with. Brittany dropped by our Facebook page to let us really cool. <laughs> Brittany dropped by our Facebook page to let us know that she has three German Shepherds, which I can't imagine how much pet hair you much must have, Brittany. So I wanted to take a minute to get in my dog's way and apparently make it really difficult. Um, I wanted to take a minute to show you what the inside of the mechanism looks like and how big the bin is so you can get a good idea of how often you're going to have to empty it and uh, what you're going to need to do to keep the filter clean. So this is the vacuum bin here on the back of the vacuum and it comes out really easily. Um, they recommend that you leave the vacuum right side up um, to empty the bin so that you don't get dust actually inside the machine. So it's super simple. You just push down on this little button and pull it out. And then this is the bin itself. So as you can see, it's got uh, an open space here and then the filter actually sits on top. So I'm just gonna sit it down here on my carpet and probably make a terrible mess, but uh, open it up and actually show you. So there's just two red switches on either side that you just compress to open this up and then it'll show you the inside of the bin. So this is how much pet hair um, and dirt the Bobby vacuum picked up off my floor in about an hour and a half I had it running today. So this gives you a pretty good idea of just how much Cool Shack really sheds um, because Felix is a non-shedding breed so this is 100% all cool and that is pretty much all dog hair which is really gross. I'm just gonna sit it in a bag I have off to the side here. So here is the inside of the vacuum canister. As you can see it's not huge but given the size of the vacuum it's a pretty generous portion of space dedicated just to holding whatever your vacuum sweeps up. And so I empty that usually every day or maybe every second day if I haven't been running it a lot but we we vacuum pretty constantly around here. Um, so the second part you want to look at is the filter section. So these two red tabs here um, on the left and on the right, you just push them in and the top of the filter pops open. So as you can see, this is one of the things I am most impressed with on this vacuum. Um, I live near some railroad tracks, so my house gets crazy dusty really, really fast. And it's doing a really, really good job of picking up a lot of just the dust and the dirt um, and the grime in addition to the pet hair. So those are the two things that I have to empty out on a pretty regular basis, um, just in order to keep the vacuum running to the best of its ability and make sure things aren't clogged up and getting gross. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how much this vacuum will hold, Brittany, and uh, whether or not it will really be able to keep up with your German Shepherds. I think if you were to run it every day and empty it out every day, you'd probably do great and be really happy with it. Um, anybody else has questions, drop them on our Facebook page, send me an email, or leave a comment on our latest blog post about the Bobby uh, vacuum, and we are more than happy to answer. Thanks. Hey everyone. So we're still getting lots of questions about our new vacuum, which is a Bobby pet made by Bob Sweep. And so I wanted to take a minute to answer a question that I'm getting a lot, but from one person in particular who has uh, a pretty challenging job for a vacuum cleaner to keep up with. Brittany dropped